Designers could greatly benefit from a digital sketching tool. Hi, my name is Aldo Huben. This video shows some ideas and concepts for better sketch tools developed within the ID8 research projects. Making sketches is an important part of the ID generation process. Designers are generally quite capable of using traditional tools to make drawings on paper or quick models out of, for example, cardboard. We will see three situations though where problems arise with traditional sketching tools and how better tools can improve upon this. First, let's look at the designer who wants to discuss some preliminary design ideas with the client. In contrast to ID sketches, the designer has put a lot of effort on his presentation rendering. While the client has a number of good points to make about the IDs, both feel reluctant to write or draw on the renderings. Quick design alterations have to be made on a separate piece of paper. Later on, the client shows some of his products, a few magazine adverts and some competitors' products. Tables getting filled with paper and objects. While all this information is important, at best the designer ends up with a stack of badly copied images. Much of the actual discussion is only stored in the designer's memory, where some of the valuable input will be lost. Now, let's see how a sketch tool could improve this situation. Again, we see a designer meeting with a client. While this time too he shows his ID renderings on paper, he has a digital copy in his sketch tool. Annotations are made on the actual drawings. Quick design modifications are immediately evaluated and discussed. The client's imagery is imported into the same medium as the notes and sketches, using a built-in camera. Important media are annotated to store the comments made during the meeting, making the client's input part of the collection of sketches. The collection of sketches and images now closely reflects the whole meeting and most that has been discussed. The tool may seem a bit far-fetched or technically unfeasible, but is it? All needed technology is already available. In fact, the device resembles a next-generation PDA specialized for a designer in the ID generation phase. A high-res screen that supports lifelike drawing is available from tablet manufacturer Wacom. Importing images into the device can be done using any simple digital camera. An interesting new technology developed by Meta Creations even makes it possible to capture three-dimensional objects in seconds enabling the designer to import actual 3D objects into the collection of sketches. Let's return to our designer. He's on his way back from his client and has a lot of ideas he wants to put on paper. Even though it's possible to make sketches in a train, there are some problems. There's just no physical space to look through the notes he made during the meeting. What's more, the designer has no access to any prior notes and sketches which could have come in very handy, as he vaguely remembers having had a similar design problem before. It's frustrating him that he can't get a good overview of what he's done and come up with so far, while he feels very inspired to do some design work here and now. With the proper sketch tool, things could be different. While there are still bumps in the rail track, other problems are solved. All notes, images and sketches are stored on pages, like it would be in a sketchbook. Browsing through these pages gives the designer a good overview of the proceedings of the meeting. Prior sketches are available on pages preceding the ones for the meeting. The designer can make new sketches or choose to start a sketch from an older one. Selecting a sketch and dragging it to a new page establishes a link between the two pages. Using this link, the designer can later track back the development of this particular idea or sketch. When the designer finds a page particularly important, he can place a dog ear on this page, making it easier to find this page back. To browse the collection of sketches, we introduce the thumbnail slider. A small representation of the current page that, when dragged, reveals other pages in the collection. Only when the user lets go of the thumbnail, the page in the thumbnail is displayed. Like a dog ear in a book, a digital dog ear attracts attention while you're browsing. Target pages show slightly longer in drag animations than normal pages. This increases the chance you spot the page while browsing and it makes it easier to land on a specific page. Dog ears can be set manually for important pages or automatically for pages that are looked at often. Alternatively, pages that have relevant content to the current page could be made more accessible. Our designer has just returned to his office. He continues his design work, happy to use his preferred set of markers and fineliners, and larger paper. 
The downside to this is that he has now two separate stacks of sketches. When the designer wants to find back a certain sketch, he first has to remember when he made it and search a respective stack. Using the same tools all the time would solve this problem, but it's not practical. The tools he has in his office are not portable and the portable tools are limited when compared to the office tools. A well-designed set of tools may solve these problems. The designer comes into his office with sketches from the meeting and his creative moment in the train. On his desk is his workstation that he uses for CAD, writing letters, etc., but it also doubles as a sketch tool. When a designer brings his portable sketch tool to his desktop system, both tools are synchronized so it's possible to browse all sketches from one tool. The workstation sketch tool has a large drawing surface. It has physically different tools that emulate real-world tools, a fine liner, pencils and markers in its preferred colors. The workstation version adds the capability to make quick three-dimensional objects, which would traditionally be made out of cardboard, clay or other materials. The desktop system we saw had a number of interesting features, for example the drawing tablet. With tablets available from Wacom, it's possible to assign different sketching actions to different tools. A sketch-like 3D modeling application, while not available as such, is not completely inconceivable. 3D applications like Elias Wavefront's Maya are powerful and accessible enough to serve as a base for the tool. Furthermore, Teddy, a tool developed at the Tokyo Institute of Technology, shows an interface that, though not directly suitable for designers, is quite sketch-like. In three situations we've seen how a well-designed digital sketching tool could benefit designers in the ID generation phase. Though the presented concepts are far from actual products, currently available technologies support their feasibility. Better tools won't turn you into a better designer, but they can make life easier.